Hey church family, Pastor Henry here. It's been a little bit since we've done a little Devo, so I wanted to bring one to you today. I'm hoping that everybody is doing really good, uh, that you are being blessed and filled with some joy. If things aren't going so good, make sure you send in your prayer requests. We pray for those whenever they come in, so we encourage you to make sure you uh, send those in to the church. We've been going through the book of Revelation, as most of you know, and what uh, strikes me is to this point is that the worship of Jesus is so different than than our worship of Jesus. Our worship of Jesus uh, seems to be predicated upon how we feel, what's going on in our lives, um, how much maybe pain we're going through, and all of these things are, are valid. Now, don't get me wrong, but as we read the the worship of Jesus in the Book of Revelation, it just it's it's obviously at just a whole different level. And it shouldn't be at a different level because they're actually seeing Jesus face to face. Because think about it for us. I think Peter says, um, we love him whom, whom we've not seen yet. So we have this great love for Jesus. He's redeemed us. He's transformed us. He's saved us. He's given us peace and joy. And he's done so many great miracles in our lives. So our worship of Jesus should be very Christ-centered. Now, sometimes, family, we let, we let the things that are going on in our lives... Uh, I guess maybe put a stranglehold on our worship of Jesus that because we're going through something, I'm not going to sing, I'm not going to praise, I'm not going to read my Bible, I'm not going to go on a prayer walk. I want to encourage you that if you're going through a little something, something, even if you're not, our, our worship of Jesus uh, should always be what he's due. Listen to Revelation chapter 4. We're going to jump around a little bit. Chapter 4, verse 11. It says, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9, And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and open the seals, for you were slain. You have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe, tongue, and people, and nation, and you have made us kings and priests to our God. Revelation 5 verse 13, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessings. So we see that A, we're created by Jesus, for Jesus and for his purpose. And these elders continue to say, worthy are you, Lord. When was the last time we woke up and said, Jesus, you are so worthy. Thank you for redeeming me. Thank you for transforming me. Thank you that I'm still alive. Thank you that I have peace and joy found in you. Thank you that you have a plan for my life. Uh, sometimes, family, we put in a different tape in the morning. We wake up and we put in that tape. Oh, what's going to happen today? Things are going to continue to go downhill and things are bad. And I don't know when things are ever going to change. And we... Listen to that kind of mindset day in and day out, and maybe you might wonder why you're not so joyful. I would say take that tape out. Remember when we were growing up, there's a little tape player you hit eject and it would slowly come out. You take the tape out, throw that guy away, and then put in put in this tape. Put push play on this. Worthy are you, oh God, you have redeemed us, you have saved us, you are worthy to receive glory, honor, and power for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Think about this, by the will of Jesus he created you, by the will of Jesus you exist for him. So since he created you, since you exist for him, are you feeding yourself with, with his food? Are you, are you living your life according to his, uh, his game plan, according to his instructions? I want to leave you with this so I don't go on too long. Whenever we buy uh, a new phone or uh, some new furniture that needs to be assembled, uh, it comes with uh, an instruction manual. Now, some of us try to go on it on by ourselves and we have a bunch of uh, screws left over and we're like, hey, do me a favor and test out this chair. Well, what are all these screws? Ah, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and sit down. Everything's going to be okay. It may not be okay, but 
If you live your life according to these instructions, if you wake up each morning and you worship you some Jesus, remind yourself that Jesus is worthy, that he's redeemed us, that he's given us peace, joy, hope, and a future. I can guarantee you this. Your life won't be perfect. It won't be pain-free, but you'll be living your life according to the will of God, and that's what's most important. God bless you, and have a great night or a day.